Yo, yo, tell me it's your boy, King Mother F. You already know the rest, but let's say it together, man. King Mother F. Say so, man. Top of the morning. Well, it's morning for me. <laughs> so make sure you put good morning in the comment section or get the new depending on when you're watching the video. But make sure you also like, comment, subscribe. Check out the description box. Follow my other channels and hit the like button because we are on the road to 2K. Don't forget the like button the faster we can get there. Throw that said, that's your one video. All right, I'm here with Dimitri right now. We are how many days out? Hey, go find. Look, this is DDG manager, bro. Go find him and go find his um, his Instagram. Tell him to sign King Chase up, man. Send him my YouTube channels. I got four of them. Tell him he a what? Tell him I'm a one man business. Sign me, man. What's that? About seven days. Can you just confirm? Because listen, all everybody that's watching this right now, they think they think I'm capping. Like it was in. The, I ain't get no views on the video of me paying for space. That's supposed to get a million views. Like nigga, I'm really going to space, and y'all niggas think I'm bullshit. So I just need you to. Hey, I looked at that video. I, I, I believe he's talking about when he was uh, um, I guess he thought I'm playing or whatever. That that video didn't really get a lot of views. Especially for him to have what two million, three million. That's crazy. That's he got like less than two hundred K on that video. That's wild. I never I would never expect that from you. Confirm it. No, well we're gonna first start seeing a whole bunch of publications coming out in the next day or two. Uh today we're finalizing the final uh people that are going on the on the shuttle, the ship or whatever. Shit's real. Today we're doing hyperbaric training. We uh, he's gonna link up with two astronaut homies this week. Yeah. We're gonna put them on the game. Uh, Jose Hernandez and Winston Scott. Uh, he's gonna be doing this underwater uh, pool training. It, it like simulates like being in space. Um, Wait, when is that? <sighs> Thursday. Shit. I'm not. I'm not a good swimmer and shit. But basically, when you go in the air, it's the same thing as like scuba diving. You know, I've been scuba diving. It's pressure. All the pressure goes to your head. You got to know how to equalize and all that other shit. I'm a pro at scuba diving, so I know how to do all that shit. But you can scuba right. dive a lot, so it should yeah. be something like that. Yeah, so I'm going to hyperbaric training today, which they're going to put me in like a, a chamber. And it's basically going to simulate like being in the air, high in the air, giving me a bunch of pressure in there. And it's going to... It's like a healing process too, so it's gonna be dope. So y'all just stay tuned. As you can see from the thumbnail, you know I'm doing some crazy shit. So time to go to space, y'all. Training day one. Let's get it. Hey, uh, you have the address. I'll follow you. Or you wanna follow me? Yeah. See, I want. I ain't never been this serious about something, man. I just want y'all to lock in and really uh, support me in this. I got a few DMs from people. Yeah, I've been saying good luck and stuff, and I appreciate it. My nose is a little stuffed up. I'm a little sick, so I'm trying to get rid of this sickness before I go up there. Um, but it's exciting, man. I'm actually really, really, really excited. Excuse my bad hair, dude. I've been laying without my um, new rag and shit, but I'm kind of nervous for this little train and shit. I ain't going to cap. Then he said underwater train. I ain't found out about that to today, so we're just going to see, man. Y'all stay tuned. Alright y'all, this is the first step of training, hyperbolic oxygen therapy. I'm about to get in that tank. It passes the blood brain barrier, it turns your turns the oxygen, it's able to turn it into a liquid so it gets into the plasma. So um, our, our red blood cells get kind of big and globby, just mm -hmm. naturally. And so with the oxygen being under pressure, it forces it into your bloodstream and it gets past the, it's able to go through those red blood cells and get it everywhere, everywhere you need to be, or everywhere it needs to be. Can I, will I feel like weird in there or no? No, so it feels exactly like a flight. Like a like, flight? Uh -huh. It feels exactly like that when I'm pressurizing you. When I'm pressurizing you, it feels like you're ascending in an airplane, so it has the same effect on your ears. Oh, okay. And then at the end, when we depressurize you, it feels like you're descending. Mm. Same pressure on your ears. You don't feel it anywhere else. It does put pressure on your bladder, 
So we always ask, especially guys for some reason, so much more. So we always just make sure that you go to the bathroom right before you go in. We always take your blood sugar or your blood pressure before you go in too because it elevates it. But then it goes back to normal once the pressure is equalized. Oh yeah, also yeah, because the pressure will put pressure on your bladder. So it's always good to use the bathroom before you get in because when Has anybody in, ever peed in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, you can leave. Uh, down the hall on the left-hand side. All right. Kind of nervous. A little nervous. Not going to lie. Not going to cap. But it is what it is, man. This is what life is about. Life is about new experiences, man. Well, all I want y'all to take from this is start living. Start doing different stuff. I would rather, I would rather die from paragliding. 10,000 feet in the air with a damn kite then get shot. I'd rather fall 10,000 feet doing some lit shit than get hit in the hood. Um, no homo. I'm gonna get shot in the hood. I mean, yeah, like, look, take from somebody that's been shot before. It's not, not fun, not tight. It's crazy, crazy experience, but this, you know, like, you jump out of a plane or something, I don't know, like, you, I, I don't know if you die in the air. But I think you die when you hit the ground. That's a long time of you, you know, falling, screaming, thinking about you hitting the ground. Like that. I, I, I don't know about that, bro. I don't know. I don't know. If you get sometimes depending on how you get hit, it might just be over. But that falling, falling for I don't know how long you'll be falling. Probably for like some, some at least probably five minutes or ten, depending on how high you is. But yeah, I don't know about that one. So. That's all I'm saying, man. Start living, start doing a little, do a little bit of shit. You and you in, in the hood right now watching this. Go outside, go to the birds, and go motherfucking skateboard with the white folk. I'm a little sick too. They said it's a little more dangerous when you're sick. I was in Atlanta. You watching this and you live in Atlanta, I feel sorry for y'all. Cause it's 80 degrees over here. Y'all niggas is living in 30 degree weather. Don't know how you do it. So it's really important that we check your blood pressure because it will increase during the session. Immediately after, it will go back to normal. Okay. Blood pressure is, is um, that's how you, you be faking this stuff if it's high, huh? If it's high, if it's too low, totally. Okay. Go ahead and relax your arm here. Thank you. So if you are going to be filming, try not to get your watch on camera just because we'll have people coming in if they do come in because of you know if you were his watching here I can do it too. Alright, I'll take it up. <laughs> okay. I need this anyway. This is my bonus. So I can have this. Your <laughs> payment for the year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. What if I just step out just so I can snag it? <laughs> <laughs> you can put it in our safe. Go ahead and call it. 
sitting and get comfortable. Okay. You are welcome to freely move around. You don't have to stay in like this. That's all things you're going to have to do. Equalize your ears. So easy ways to do that is plugging the nose and breathing out gently, yawning, uh, swallowing, massaging behind the ears. Also, just sitting up in an upright position will help equalize your ears too, okay? Okay. Um, so the first uh, few minutes as we're pressurizing and depressurizing is that that's when you're going to be equalizing your ears. Usually it takes around 16 to 20 minutes to pressurize and then around 10 minutes to depressurize. Okay. And then once you're at full pressure, which is the majority of the session, you're free to move around, do whatever you want. Um, you won't have to equalize your ears anymore at that point, okay? All right, I'm ready. Okay, so then go ahead and put on the mask. probably will be one of the biggest videos ever bro like you really go to orbit to do a video this yeah this gotta be one of the biggest videos ever nobody didn't know like this make sure y'all like and subscribe catch up the video